Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your general love reading for mid-February 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you'd like. All that information is in the description box. And yeah, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Second half of February, let's see what is going on. All right, so starting off the reading, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is really trying to cope with the fact that it feels like something is not in balance or something is just not even um, between you and another person. It's like somebody is giving more energy possibly than the other person. Um, we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Because it feels like, yeah, it's like there's this imbalance of some sort between the two of you and... Yeah, it's a little hard to cope with. Uh, let's see, for you we have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Oh, all right. It feels like you're taking a bit of a, um, wow, harsh approach here. Um, it's almost coming in as you possibly having put this person in the friend zone. I don't know. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see for them. The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and Temperance. Well, there's that balance showing up again. Um, I do see this person moving in that direction of trying to, trying to bring some kind of peace, possibly even being patient, trying to be patient with you. Um, I know you have the Five of Pentacles. It could be that either either you're feeling like this person is leaving you out in the cold, or maybe you're doing that to them. Possibly because you feel like maybe that was happening to you. So I feel like you're you're kind of yeah, almost like doing it back to them, not necessarily for revenge. Um, but more of, all right, well, you know, um, <laughs> it's like having, you know, giving them a taste of their own medicine again, but not necessarily like on purpose. It's just, that's just the way that, you know, your reaction is, um, coming in, you know, that's just, it's like cause and effect. Like, you know, they had certain behaviors and well, it created this effect from you. I see this person being really frustrated with all of this, actually um, desiring you a lot, right? Queen of Wands, that's you showing up here. So they're thinking a lot about you, um, having a desire for this, for you, but it's like they're being patient. They're trying to balance themselves out first. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the world. All right, so a completion or a resolution. Um, of a cycle. So I do feel like this is actually going to be resolved in some way successfully, um, which, you know, that could be, for some of you, it could be like a makeup, <laughs> like finding the resolution, right? Um, and for others of you, it could be just closing this out. Either way, the resolution is successful. Um, so let's clarify. Let's see the Six of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. devil the three of cups and the tower Ooh, okay yeah so talk about an imbalance I feel like there's there's a lot of conflict actually here there's a lot of conflict um, it's almost like hmm It feels like like the two of you were just um, like there was this misalignment like when you were trying to um, you know be the one to um, take the higher road and, and be you know the more understanding one and trying to make things 
right and you know kind of you know put your ego to the side you know they weren't being very cooperative and then you know maybe there was a point in time where they were in that space but it was already too late for you um <clears throat> it feels like that like just when there was like this opportunity from one of you to make up it kept getting sabotaged by the other or the other one then just wasn't in that space so it feels like it's this like vicious cycle or like this yeah like a toxic vicious cycle that was happening I and mean, then it's like the one thing just kind of perpetuated the other and it, it is almost coming in as each of you trying to find each of you trying to find justice basically but then never really feeling like you got justice from the other person. So maybe, you know, you felt like you needed them to understand you. Maybe they felt like they wanted an apology and then like these things kind of like never really happened and it just like spirals into this back and forth of who's giving more, who's giving less, trying to balance this out and then it's just, it just got to the point where it's like, okay, boom, like, like it just, th that cycle had to break, it had to end. And I feel like that's that's kind of like what's happening here in the situation. And because of that, I see you being more distant, more cold, possibly walking away from this. Um, but, you know, either friend zoning them or still being willing, though, still willing to keep some kind of interaction or come to some kind of a consensus, but you're doing it with a more like detached kind of a vibe to you. So let's see, let's clarify that Queen of Swords. The lovers. Yeah, you still have feelings for this. Um, you're, you're being more, you're, you're just being a little bit more harsh, more cold, and I do feel like it is also Possibly because you want to protect yourself, which I'm not, not saying that that's a bad thing at all. I actually see you, you know, setting boundaries or just being like, you know what, we're either going to resolve this or like, you know, there's no point in continuing on in this way. But you're definitely feeling a very strong connection with this person. That's also um, Gemini energy and we also do have Capricorn on the table, but of course it could be any sign. Oh, and we also have um, Sagittarius. Let's see the Five of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. You definitely want to shift here. You want things to be different. Um, I, you know, I actually feel like, you, you know, the, the behavior that you're portraying here, I feel like you are actually doing it from a place of, of love, <laughs> even though it's, it's, it's weird the way it's showing up, but it's like, it's like, because you have so much love for this or because you it's like you believe in this connection or just in love in general and that's why you you're handling it in this way like your like your intentions behind it are actually positive is what i'm trying to say and i do feel like you have felt in some way abandoned by this person in the past. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like ghosting, although it very well could be, um, or, or a breakup, but there was something here. And it, it's like you are kind of, intentionally or not, you're now doing to them what they had done to you. And it feels like it's the first time that you're doing this as well for some of you. Let's see that Three of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. 
can get one more. Actually, the Queen of Cups, yeah, that's what I was suspecting. Okay, so it's like you're open to this, but at the same time, it's like you're keeping it more matter of fact. I feel like you're trying to keep your emotions out of this or you're just not displaying your emotions um, to them, but it does come in with that Five of Swords. Like it's a little, it is a little deceptive and I'm not judging whether that's right or wrong. Just saying what the energy is. Because I do feel like really, you know, um, you have more emotions than what you are, you are showing. It's like, and maybe this is, you know, I mean, there's nothing ever wrong with being honest. Okay. That's, that's just what I always say and what I always feel. There's nothing wrong with being honest. Your truth is your truth. If you feel like you want to, you know, hide your emotions at the moment for whatever reason and you feel like you're guided to do that, okay. But um, as long as you are aware of them, that's what I'm getting here as the message. As long as you are aware of them. Because I feel like, you know, you're, you're presenting this as wanting a friendship or, yeah, you know, I'm open to resolving this. But in a way where it's like cold <laughs> and it's interesting because I feel like that's not very Sagittarius like um, but then again you know um, the way that this has played out I mean I can see why you would why you would be um, acting in that way all right Let's see what's going on with them. This Knight of Wands. The Nine of Cups and Death. Yeah, they're feeling this ending, all right? This is also Scorpio showing up. Um, they're feeling an ending of this, and again, it, it's like throwing them in this like craziness of like, I don't know what to do because this is something they really want. They're feeling like, you know, something, they may have even taken this for granted. All right, with this Nine of Cups, feeling, you know, having felt very comfortable um, in this connection, like, you know, you're always there. And so now they're feeling like there's this ending of that. And there's a lot of frustration, a lot of restlessness, not really not knowing what, what to do. Let's see the Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions here. I feel like this person might, this might even be an apology, um, that they're feeling apologetic. I'm not sure if they're expressing it. I mean, it is showing up like they would be expressing this, so that might be coming up for you. If they're not expressing it, well, they're definitely feeling it. Either way, a lot of emotions here. A lot of emotions on on both sides except you're not showing them at the moment and I do feel like you know you've just kind of blocked it out you've blocked it out because you're just tired of whatever it is that was happening here that vicious cycle that was toxic like maybe maybe you felt like this person was taking advantage of your emotions um, or taking them for granted and so you're just like you know what well if that's the case you know I'm not I'm not going to express them uh, let's see, Temperance. Six of Wands and Ace of Cups. Yeah, I mean, the emotions are, are out of this world here um, with this Ace of Cups. There's definitely a lot of love. Um, this person wants this back, Six of Wands. They want to be able to come back in and possibly fix things, right? They want something to be successful here. They want this connection to be successful. I do feel like they are waiting a little bit possibly with temperance. I feel like they're, there's something here that they're healing or they're trying to find their balance because at the moment they're not. They're not very balanced um, with that Knight of Wands. There's a little bit of fluctuation, you know, like possibly, you know, one minute thinking that they want to do, do it this way and then thinking, no, I want to do it that way. I feel like they're even their emotions are a little bit um, unstable, inconsistent. But they have this, this ultimate goal of wanting to, 
to make up here and to find some kind of a balance because I do see temperance as actually being the solution to this main um, situation here, right? That was with the devil. And yes, you know, for some of you, this definitely could be involving a third party with the devil and the three of cups. Doesn't have to be, but it definitely could be. And it could be that, you know, this is, this could be why if, if that is your situation, okay, it's not going to be for everyone. That could be why there was this uneven exchange of energy or an imbalance, right? If one person had to, you know, um, share their energy between two different situations or giving to another situation and not giving to this at all. All right, so let's see the world for the potential outcome. The Page of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, let's see. I feel like this is, whatever this is, it's going to be resolved through a conversation, all right? At least for, for the time being. Um, there's some kind of a conversation where I do feel like certain truths will be expressed here concerning the disappointment, concerning the disappointment, concerning the dissatisfaction, concerning the unhappiness, or concerning somebody um, feeling neglected, feeling ignored. So it's like that honesty in communication about an issue like that, that is what is going to help to close out this cycle and find some kind of a, of a resolution. All right, Sagi. I mean, it does feel like, I feel like there's more to all of this. I feel like there's a lot more and I feel like actually like this specific part maybe is just like one little part. That's what the resolution is about. That part of the devil, it's like that's closing out. But I do feel like there might still be more, just more issues overall, um, but that those can actually be handled, right? At some point in the future. All right, so if this resonated, the final message for you is Voyage of the Heart. The love flows through you and to you. And this is, I feel, I think it's exactly the card that Leo got, actually. So yeah, definitely this is a journey um, of the heart. Focus on love, at least, you know, know your emotions, all right? That's the message here. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.